Yo, what's up guys? It's Pius here, the CryptoPie, and today we're going to be talking about Bitcoin because Bitcoin will indicate what the market is doing, guys. And, it, you know, um, we were in this consolidation, or we still are, and I, I simply made a triangle. Uh, we broke down from that right now, right? Uh, we held it for a little bit. I mean, it's just based on, on this support. Um, so, right now we broke down. So, where do I think we will go? It, it you know, it, it goes all the way down again to this, uh, this picture here on daily. Um, you know, I do think we will go down into this 3200 all the way down to 2900 area um, to test that, right? I do think we will go down there. So, um, looking on the hourly, this was definitely, you know, a, a drop. So, from there, I, I'd be looking for some kind of reversal in this this big area. I know it's a pretty big area, but guys, keep in mind that on the four hour, etc., um, we are not that oversold anymore, right? So on the six hour, but on the bigger picture, we are still oversold, right? On the daily, we just need to see some kind of bounce happening. Whether you know, it just always happens. So you just need to wait. You just need to wait uh, patiently. Um, hopefully you're in true US dollar or US dollar tether or whatever um, because I mean and then you know hopefully you did that somewhere after we dropped below this line and not 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 right now obviously but we should see some kind of bounce guys I know it's all very bearish uh, and we could possibly just get way more bearish than this um, it's just all possible guys and you know we just have to deal with it right but we're definitely not oversold yet so wait for it to be super oversold if you want to buy in in a big drop right now it's not the time just yet but perhaps when we get back down to this line at 3200 we could be very oversold right so um, just wait for that wait patiently um, wait for some bullish outside divergence before you start buying right it is pretty bearish right now so yeah I do think we will drop uh, a bit lower once again <coughs> and that's just how it is alright guys so there's not much you know going on at all in, in altcoins etc because it's this simple right if, if Bitcoin does this then uh, what do you expect the altcoins to do, right? They just don't do anything. So, um, so the only thing you can really do is, is is short, right? So looking at the Elliott perspective here, you know, w what I could possibly come up with is that this is uh, like, what what if this was your entire one, right? I know this this is really crazy. This is your two, two, then this is your three. Your four is being made here. Cause we basically touch these 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 highs. So you know two and then you get your three, two, and then you get your four, and then we we still need a five, right? This means that three is shorter than than one. So five five will be shorter than the than the three, right? And that is based on the Elliot, so it could very well just go down there um, to finish this this wave. I know it's a very ugly wave, but it, it could possibly be that it, it, it's like that, right? So just keep that in mind, guys. Um, it, it's all very hard to see right now on what's going on. 12 hour, maybe a bit more clarity. Go and look on the bigger time frames, that's for sure at the moment, right? Don't be so closed in on a very small time frame right now, because it, this is obviously a drop on a bigger time frame, right? So you need to be looking like this on the daily, on the 12 hour, maybe the 10 hour, eight hours, st stuff like that, right? Uh, what we can see here is that we have a lower low established, but we have a higher low on the R side. So that's some bullish R side divergence, no matter what. So we do see that happening. But when that happens, it can definitely still drop a bit lower before we actually get the bounce, right? 
so just keep that in mind and if you are on lower time frames you know it was this was pretty easy to see so you just draw your triangle um, and obviously we are below it right now so next support is just down here guys right it's just down here and uh, go with that and just wait patiently all right so that's the update I have for you on Bitcoin um, I also have a Patreon page, which is patreon.com slash pygos. You can check it out, check which tier fits you. And if you want to become a Patreon yourself, you, of course, will get the benefits through either Telegram or Discord by PM. Or I can PM you on patreon.com itself. And from there, um, you know, just thanks a lot. Uh, also, guys, join up with the CryptoPies blog where you can ask me any questions, ask other people questions, and it's just a great chat box to be in, right? Let's see what's going on here. Um, we just don't have much going on here at all. Uh, you hope for a wick to 2700? Yeah, um, it could possibly go down there. So, um, you know, that'd be great price if you get in there on some super oversold level. I'm not saying that's going to be the low either because it could just but we do need some kind of bounce guys before we go down further right um it can't just only go down 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 just like it couldn't just go up 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 last year either you know if you guys remember correctly we went for example to like around five thousand dollars and then we dropped back down to three thousand right um so it, it's very normal for a market to do that so here it's going down 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 so we also need to have a little um rallies up relief rallies right um so yeah that's basically what needs to happen also guys join up with the group price feed where i post on my videos post about upcoming icos at the moment just don't expect any icos from me guys because icos will just kill you right uh they will not make you any gains at the moment at all so don't go into them all right um yeah also follow me on Twitter, which is twitter.com slash pygos. And follow me on Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash pygos. Both telegrams will be in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Hit that post notification button. And if you've got any questions at all, leave a comment below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.